I want to thank you all for the respect and reverence that you just showed in keeping your bodies very quiet and very still in prayer while Father Char Charlie was taking Jesus um, to a place of prayer and of adoration. Thank you so much because I know that that is not easy to do, but what you did was you showed great respect for understanding that God was still in our presence. I wanted to reiterate a thank you, and I want to thank the teachers and Ms. Travis to our musicians. And I really want to thank our cantors um, for, for coming up in front of the church because it is not a gift that I have. <laughs> I sing out with all my heart, but I'm not gifted in that area. And so I want to thank you because it really helps us to feel like we can sing out as well when you lead us in such a strong way. So thank you. As Father Charlie was talking in the homily today, I was really thinking about what he was saying, and the part that caught me, that struck me, was the part about missing someone when they're not there, about missing a piece of our foundation, a piece of our church when someone's not with us. And so think about when you, um, if you build with Legos, or if you build with building blocks, or if you've ever played the game Jenga, I like the game Jenga, when you start pulling the pieces out, you still need a foundation. A foundation, boys and girls, is that bottom layer, that first row. And when you start pulling those pieces away from the very bottom, the top falls over. So in order to be able to build up, to build on something, you need a really strong foundation. And when you're putting something like that together, you have a lot of pieces. You don't just have one piece, you have a lot of pieces. And so it really made me think about what I do day in and day out. I'm not the only one who helps run this school. I don't have all the answers. I know that's hard to believe. I don't have all the answers. So I know that if I want help with someone who has a sad heart, I go to Mrs. Leiden and she helps me out. I know that if I need help drawing a beautiful picture of the kindergarten playground, maybe, I go to Mrs. Bouchard. I know that if I need help, Mrs. Rogers and I often go to Mrs. Slobodnik to help us on where to put the semicolon in a letter, believe it or not. I do not build the foundation of this school alone. There are many parts that help me do that. Each one of us has gifts that God has given us. He was so smart that he did not place all gifts in one person. So that we have to work together in order to build a strong foundation. I recently was with a group of eighth graders who taught me something new on the iPad. They didn't realize that for me that was a God moment. And it was a God moment because they had talents and a gift that they understood that I did not. And they taught me. And as a result, I now know something new. Each person in our school community has gifts that they bring each and every day that we can each benefit from. Maybe it's being a really good friend and knowing the right thing to say at the right time. Maybe it's that they have a whole lot of knowledge up in their head that they're able to share with us whenever we need the answer to a question. So as we go throughout the days, today, tomorrow, the days ahead, let us try really hard to recognize those gifts in others and how they can help us to build the foundation here at school so that we can help each other to have a really strong foundation. Because when we have a really strong foundation, then we can build a whole lot on top of that. And that will help us to continue to build the kingdom of God. I hope you have a very blessed day today and a wonderful week ahead. Thank you.